on a 2014 Road Trek RS Adventures. T55, L shape, Torx head, and a E10. Eaten socket, torque socket. That's it. We might need probably a uh, a wrench to use leverage, but if you have a pipe, a round pipe, you can use it as well to insert it here for you to have more force to push this one downwards to remove the tension. In replacing the belt tension or in replacing the underhood generator belt, we need to loosen the tension on the belt tensioner. So what I have here is my old belt tensioner that I replaced as well, the same time as my belt. Uh, it's been leaking oil. It's hard to see it, but I wipe it off already. And believe it or not, that part number over there is a Mercedes parts number and it ended up a little bit cheaper than a Gates brand from Advance Auto. I paid $29 or $129 for it. So that is the part number. In removing the belt to remove the tension, this is where you are going to use the T55 insert it here it will be hard for you guys to see if I'm gonna do it underneath the the van so this is where you're gonna put it and if you want to extend the handle to give you more force put it like that and forward and pull it downwards once this one release release the tension then go ahead and pull the belt out of the underhood generator pulley. Once you release that one, you can let go of this and you can proceed with the process of how to remove the belt. You don't need to cut the belt just in case uh, you need it for emergency purposes, you can still use it. See? 55 L shape Torx head uh, in this slot over here. You'll see it. It's not hard, and it's you know, I got the video earlier as well pointing to that particular part of the belt tensioner. But anyway, you pull this downwards, and you need to have an extension. To give you more force to pull it down so I use you know just a regular wrench if you have the right size or how do you call it right size or right length of a tube tube pipe then it'll be better but anyway it's hard to take a video of it and how to do it with one hand but you put this one you pull it downwards and this belt will release its tension and you can pull it forward to take it off from the pulley from there there will be you know the belt will be loose and to remove it you don't need to cut it because you might you can save it as a spare if you want to especially if it's in a good condition like the one that i have but to remove it you need to go first and insert the belt underneath this fan blade underneath it from start from this side to the other side and then once you have it in there you'll be pulling it on top once you have it pulled in top on top the whole belt there's one bolt 
and one wire clip that you need to remove in order to remove the belt completely out of the the engine bay and i will show that to you which part that needs to be removed okay so we're on top of the engine bay you don't need to remove any of these plastics you can leave it as is it's easy enough for you to grab the belt out of it but this is the bolt that you need to remove it takes uh, I think I said E10 Torx take that off don't worry about it there's no water leak or anything like that it's just securing uh, the rubber hose that's connected to the fan it doesn't do anything at it unless to hold it for vibrations purposes i think but this harness over here too has it's only you know secured by clip over here just press this tab over here and pull it like that and you're done so take the belt out of there put the new one in secure this like so and for me it's easier to put the belt back not in reverse but uh, do it how you remove it so start from the bottom and work upwards and uh, pretty much that's it once you have it secured you need to realign the belt on all of the pulley pull the belt tensioner out and then release it tension will be back on the belt and you're good to go start the engine and test it uh, double check all the if they're aligned or not and make some adjustment if you need to thank you so much uh, hope this one helps bye